Steve here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a high pass filter version 2. This one is easy to make, no SMD components are used in this project. If you don't know what is a high pass filter, you can see my previous video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below, you can check it out. You probably know this port if you are a regular viewer. This port is a 4 channel high pass filter version 1. And this is what we are going to make today. Let's see how to connect this. The output of high pass filter will go to input of the amplifier and then input of the high pass filter will go to any music source. And this port needs 12 volt power supply. Now let's start the build process. I used Eagle to create my circuit and then converted it into PCBs and then I generated the Gerber files. I visited to jlcpcb.com. They are the world largest PCB manufacturer. They offer 2 layer, 4 layer, 6 layer and SMT stencil. Upload your Gerber file today and get 10 PCB just for $2. I just uploaded my Gerber files, did a quick inspection how my PCB is going to look like and then I selected the quantities and ordered the PCBs. Processing time is only 48 hours, the shipping time is also very quick. After 7 days I got my PCBs, just look at the quality, it's superb and I paid only $2. I will leave all the part list with Gerber file in the description below, you can check that out. For this project, I use 2 NE4558 op amps, 422K resistance, 200K resistance, 110K resistance, 700NF capacitors, 247UF 25V capacitor, 100UF 25V capacitor, one LED and couple of male headers. First I soldered the op amps and then I soldered the 100 NF capacitor and then soldered all the resistance and then soldered the big capacitor and then soldered the LEDs and the male headers. After 4 minutes of soldering, the high pass filter is ready to use. For finishing touch, I used some stand ops. That's all for today's guys, hope you liked this video, please like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for next video.